Hey guys, I just wanted to, first of all, judging by the thumbnail, Sarah is okay. She's still a uh, chunky, happy, lovable pity. So don't, it's not her. Don't worry about it. Um, however, uh, one of her little kitty sisters did pass. So um, I was really kind of struggling if I should make this video or not because, you know, it's kind of sad and I, I do kind of like to keep things on the upbeat. But it's kind of necessary, I think, because, um, you know, it's what we all face being animal people. So uh, here we go. This is the bag that they bring out to you that has your loved one or your pet, whatever you wanna call her. But they bring her out in this little cedar box with her name on it. Kinda cool, that's her ashes right there. You know, that, and that envelope is like a death certificate basically. And then, that's her paw print. So, you know, it's a sad ordeal, but you know, it's like you get a keepsake of your animal, and you know, especially if you're that real, that attached, like we get attached to all of our kids because they're fur kids. I mean, if you if you live with if you live with a creature, human or non-human, and see them every day and take care of them and everything I mean you get attached to them you know and a lot of people that aren't animal people necessarily won't really understand it but you know it's to those of us that are animal people I mean you know where I'm coming from so anyway that's the bummer part about taking care of animals and having them in your lives but you know what I wouldn't trade it for nothing 